and as always. I mean, I say and as always. As me posting this video, it is not and as always because uh, a large number of the last videos I posted have not been this. In fact, I even recorded one earlier today which was not this. So, evidently I have absolutely no idea what is meant by and as always. Um, but anyway, so same challenge as before. Uh, we've just got to, yeah, really, it's these spidlings at the moment, which I need to work on <laughs> entirely because uh, the four damage, well, it's not entirely because of the four damage, uh, or the four health makes this a lot harder, um, because, as, as I mentioned last time, uh, four damage isn't the only thing which has changed. Um, one rather large thing. Well, no, it's it is the only thing that's changed. Sorry, I. Well, no, it's not. What's also changed is I. I it's not, nothing changed with the game, but what has changed is I got to a uh, or my setup. But what has changed is I got to a further level a while back than I had strats to beat. And okay, there was a reason why it ended up not working anyway. But you know the point remains. Um, I would not have had strats to have beaten uh, Spiking Invaders. I might still have managed it, because I could probably... I don't know. I knew how much damage they did, and I kind of trusted my ability to save them, but... Like, it could have gone badly. So, um, and I definitely couldn't have been able to guarantee it going well. So, uh, what fighting with 4 health gives me is a little bit more of a sense of what it will be like to handle uh, Elite Dark Spiderlings late game uh, on 5 health. Or I guess on 4 health, it doesn't actually make too much difference. There's a slight difference, I need to be a little bit more precise. I doubt I will make that there. Where are we at the moment on um, Smash em All? Long way to go. Yeah, as mentioned, I'm still kind of considering do I bother? Like, maybe I try and find somewhere more efficient to grind up. Um. Ouch. It's not die there. Do I go for it? The ground pound to just destroy everything. Oh, what if I do this? Call correctly. Okay, no, I called incorrectly. Well, that didn't quite work out, but it didn't end for my death, so. And it's one of the rare occasions where it didn't end in my death because I actually did something vaguely intelligent and ground pounded earlier rather than later. This is a good way to uh, get smashed right at the start of a round. This works. Take this. Not exactly a conventional ordering, but um, works out pretty well. Boink. 
I was playing survival with a friend yesterday and <laughs> they were trying to go for 10 minutes and I was just an absolute idiot because um, I also wanted the 10 minute achievement didn't really need it but like it'd be nice to get to get and to have um, dead yeah um, didn't time my run away correctly uh, but yeah it turns out after so long trying to come up with like perfectly uh, repeatable and loopable strategies and trying to play with those that I just completely forgot that you know you can use armor polish etc and so I was like, oh no, well, there's nothing I can do <laughs> as I got uh, so as I got my health lowered because like I couldn't stop to regen health. Completely forgetting that of course I don't need to stop to regen health, I only need to stop to regen health if I'm using one particular item. I don't have to use that one particular item. See that was just a low tier ninja moment. Which is actually in <laughs> in another ranking an average tier ninja moment. Well, bad speaking of low tier ninja moments. Unable to smash stromlings on wave two. in my head. Oh, wait, is it Neuner Neuner? I don't know. It's been a long time since I took German. I'm now trying to think clearly of the lyrics, which I, if I'm honest, don't spend too much time paying attention to because I don't clearly know what they mean. managed to completely and utterly play myself earlier today uh, by oh, by discussing with some friends oh yeah we should do a revision session like around 3 30 because we've got an exam coming up oh, great idea uh, let's do that cool uh, then then i was like i was uh, thinking like all right i'll do i'll get in it was about one o'clock by that point i was like okay cool um our exams are three hours long. Haven't done a past paper yet. Now be a good time to just sit down and do one. A three hour past paper between 1.30 and 3.30. Sometimes my intelligence astounds even me. Oh, what, I'm low. Speaking of my intelligence astounding even me. <laughs> me, hey yes, let us run into this fight with barely any health. like the idea of hello of starting further up there yeah, I could do 
and grab everything but the string. Boink. Twice in a row that I messed that up? Really? Low tier skills, apparently. Yes, yeah, you may or may not be able to tell I am slowly bleeding uh, healing cherries. It won't be too much of a problem because I can also make money from uh, just heading out and doing random stuff around the place. So that's kind of fine. I can even just use another account, grind on crooks for a bit and then come back. It'd be nice if I didn't have to. Yeah, so that's a nice strategy that I can use more or less whenever I like. Is the uh, run by and jump attack. Slightly scuffed start, but oh well. What do we have? Okay, I got them to see me. They saw me, but alright, oh, okay, that's cool. And on that. I say, how is that spiraling? Not <laughs> seeing me, so okay, not too disappointed it did. That was an unnecessary heal. I just get shot by something. <laughs> Rip. But alright, we're progressing back. I didn't have to have died there. But I, had I been a little bit more careful with the uh, hammer, boy, I would have been fine. So. Did I not aggro either of the two over the Anna? Oh, no. Did okay, cool. Good. But yeah, so that spiraling fight at least felt nicer than any of the previous ones I've done. Like there it felt like I was pretty much in control. As always, pretty much the entire aim of any LU challenge run. Just remain it exactly, remain precisely in control of the enemies at all times. Because simple. Phrasing control is a little bit dubious because I am in control of them, but only for like for like a certain range of their possible outputs. Also, don't think anything's dealt any damage to me yet this game. Yeah, and 
if he, I knew as I was running up that uh, was gonna uh, break that particular streak, but. Was <laughs> even worse. That's a that actually was bad, pretty bad gameplay though on my part. I should have known there was something behind me. Because yeah, the whole point of this is, or the the real trick to this is knowing where everything is and just keeping track of everything, like all the values, because. Like, it's not like the actual gameplay is, like, incredibly precise. Like, I have to remain a fair distance away, but, you know, there's leeway to avoid getting hit by various attacks, stuff like that. Now the timings are incredibly tight. The real thing is just controlling the risk of getting swarmed. Or knowing what to do when you do get swarmed. But in that instance, I just didn't see that one coming from behind, which is, yeah, that's the main, that's the main thing I should have control over, which is uh, knowing where everything is. And being able to ensure that it doesn't get anywhere near me. Which I did not manage to there. Where's the one remaining one? Oh, there. Hello. Signature gameplay. <laughs> Doing something incredibly well. No, it's not incredibly stupid, but. Doing higher risk than the reward is worth. Or higher probability of failing than the reward is worth. in point. 
Which side was it? I think it was this side. Yeah, not today it wasn't. I'm amazed I aggroed that uh, strongly. Everything else makes sense. That uh, hello. Be a little careful there because sometimes the yeah, other tree can block your attacks. And a little bit of a better rhythm this time around. Hello there. Ow. Oh, I see that guy heal. Well, that was. I should run. So, so that mech coming for me and was on one health which is why I healed but the heal also caused a lag spike which meant I got hit again which wasn't a purely bad gameplay at that point I mean I could have taken account of the lag spike that is something that I could have done but at least it's not something internal to LU it's just or like you know what I mean It's not a fundamental part of the game. I'm dead. Why did it... Oh, no, I did that. I was too slow on the approach. I was too confident that I was getting there quickly enough. And that confidence came before a fall. Wow, I'm bad. I'll just pretend I didn't miss as many attacks as I did there. A little bit broken, I can attack through there. You know one of those things where you just completely lose track of time? I have absolutely no idea when the last time I said something was. I'm assuming I commented something fairly recently because we're at the start of a game, but I wasn't paying enough attention to what I was saying to know, so I'm impressed if you all were. Amazed that I've managed to not take any damage yet. So possibly one, of the, possibly one of the highest rounds I've managed to get to, damage list so far. And that's largely not really a statement of skill. I mean, there's, I guess, no, I guess there could be. The way I play, it's not a statement of my skill. I do believe someone could get significantly better than I am and be a lot better at dodging uh, strongly mech attacks. However, for me, they are largely... I largely act on them in a random sense. And 
There we go. actually a little bit of a uh, good trick there which was to make use of the fact that that wall was raised up slightly uh, which made it significantly safer to do that ground pound attack don't think my spidling would have seen me but now nah, I'd have been shot by now if it has oh it did see me but I just de it quickly same difference. Right, let's do this first. Do I really need to employ a uh, to start employing mouse for attacks in some of these. Yeah, like that. Kind of lagged out. I didn't, well, yeah, I had just lagged out. I didn't see which attack had been done. I, for some reason, Despite the fact that I knew I was close enough for the main attack, just assumed that it was the uh, long range. Why am I suddenly lagging? Better. Cool. Feel some gains are being made here. I don't feel this is a complete waste. I do think I'm getting better. And ideally, when I do get up to uh, more health, I'll find things a lot easier because I've practiced this. on this base like it's not going to be too many more sessions before I make it which is quite cool in fact I will make it before I run out of health kits at least at the current rate, assuming I don't become a significantly worse player by then, which could happen. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I should be dead. I absolutely deserve to have been killed by that. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a uh, got a projectile jump without noticing. Yeah, that was badly 
many times on my part. Like round pounds. Shouldn't have done it. That also might uh, raise me a level. Going up. Um, getting smashable. Four. I think it's four. Um, dead. Heal. This is stupid. <laughs> Got a bit lucky there. Didn't need to heal up there. But given how lucky I got on that previous one, you know what? Um, I'm. I will take that one vaguely stupid play in exchange for my life. So seems seems like a good trade to me. We're going to play the betting on position of the mech. How does it decide when to stop walking? I managed to de-aggro. I walked so far, but anyway. That seems like... It seems like that walked for absolutely ages without firing. Oh no, I see you. How did you see me? Hmm. Must have spawned slightly closer to the path than I thought it did. It's fine. It'll de aggro as I go around this way. Doink. since that's where those two came from. Okay, let me do this again. I mean, that's a thing I could have used. Okay, I'm not too disappointed of that actually, because uh, that was a more fluid fight than some I've done previously. So I will take that. And regardless, even when I do stupid stuff, we're still making progress towards our uh, what, a penultimate goal of smash them all four. So you know, progress is being made regardless, even when I do really stupid things like that. Because this is just a this can also be seen as just a fairly efficient way of grinding up to that point. So a somewhat efficient way of grinding faction tokens, although not as efficient as I would have thought slash hoped. Yes, that one right. Oh, hello. actually in my muscle memory at the moment to hit multiple times more or less. 
See if I can trade out of that. Because as it is, my tactic is just spam alt. Which I don't think there's really a problem with. There may be some certain circumstances where I don't want to do it, but if I can get my gameplay more precise, it wouldn't hurt. Actually, there are certain circumstances where it's bad. In particular, if I get unlucky. Oh, not unlucky. If I play badly. Oh, why did I heal there? Uh, if, I, if I play badly and land on the floor uh, before the end of my combo, then if I'm just naturally spamming, then I'm... Oh, exactly like that. Uh, then if I'm just naturally spamming, then I will... Uh, oh, I'm to level up. How nice. Then uh, when I land, I'll be locked in place for longer. And that could very well be deadly. So actually, it probably is a good thing to learn. Do just the single. It's going to take a little while to get that into muscle memory, but it will, it will happen. I think the main reason it's somewhat useful is uh, when I've just done one. Cool, it's going to spawn right here. Worth a try. Wandering. No, I was not going faster there, despite what it seems. This is no faster than this. Why am I playing like this? Don't know. Works. I don't know why I did that. Oh, yeah, I forgot which round we're on. I was just vibing. Randomly running into the center. No, one does not simply do that on round five. Okay, yeah, alright then. Okay, you're going to hit me with one long range attack, probably. Surprised that didn't happen sooner, but um, let's go. Oh. That wasn't what I intended. But. Oh, sideways. Don't know how I managed to hit that. Good, good shot. Oh, please tell me I didn't just de anchor it. I didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, this is significantly easier to do now. I'm playing on a server with nav meshes for this. just because I can literally just jump back and forth here and it will have a very, very hard time getting anywhere near me. Hello. I 
Well, this won't be the furthest we've gotten, but it's also not bad progress. Coming along as well. I've got more aggro than I'd like. Let's do something about that. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I did a trick jump literally for the sake of getting hit. A trick jump is slight exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Maybe not. I mean, it very much isn't an intended jump, but I see you there. Stay away. Okay. Now let's go again. Partially the reason I did this was because I just spent one of my healing items, <laughs> and so doing this again makes that... Or going straight for a hammer strong makes that a worthwhile decision, whereas... I hadn't, I would have lost money. Um, that's not how maths works, but we'll pretend it is. Speaking of maths not working out in my favour, um, we are rapidly going through our healing cherries. I don't think anything's anything is problematic because the other day I uh, was mucking around with some people on survival and got a fair amount of money, so like yeah, money won't money won't be a problem for a little while. All right, and here we go. Come on, can we make it to Merkle Blotch? We can make it to Mergul Blotch, that will be a record in this account, and I will be fairly happy. Yeah, I honestly think for now just a pretty good play is the uh, flyby. Issue is ooh, that's not good. Uh, issue is this doesn't generalize as a strategy. Like, I'm taking up a lot of space to do this. Later rounds, I will not have this much space available. Because that will just be far more of these. Dead. I got caught in something there, yeah. Okay. So, realistically, it just needs to be noted. So, yeah. Fighting those things just needs to be noted that, yeah, I, I can't assume I'm safe at any point. Because uh, that's kind of a subtle point, because, like, if I know... If I were on flat terrain, then I would be... Then as long as I keep moving, and as long... As long as I'm above... Like... You know, realistically... As so long as I'm like above one health, I should be safe. Um, but just because, like, if I keep moving, they should be able to hit me. Um, but especially when there's other stuff around, if I take a bad angle or something, then that's problematic.
I just realised, thinking about uh, this morning's video, although it will be yesterday's video to anyone watching this, um, I actually can. I was discussing how I'd really like to be able to see like some indication of where I am on a skill tree. I guess I could literally just, because I believe there is a, I believe a, a infected rose has something along those lines available at the moment. Uh, so along the lines of a skill ed editor available at the moment, sorry. And if I just edit in something visible for the skill, or something that I can easily identify, then And then give me that bit of diagnostic ability that I so greatly desire. I so say that's that's something that's possible for future. That's very much going to be future ninjas. Concern, because yeah, that might give me the ability to work out what's going on there, and that would definitely provide, well, having a better knowledge of exactly what's going on there with the skill system would be invaluable. Because, like, I mean, looking at the skill tree for spring shoes basically revolutionised spring jumping. I made it that it was something I could fairly easily pull off. I think I even, even height gained with... Uh, Without any items in the past, I don't remember if I, I don't remember if I recorded that, but I do have a vague memory that I demonstrated it was at least possible, even if annoying and difficult. Yeah. There we are. And one stupid move to attempt to take those. Out. Wow, I. Wait a second, that was interesting. Hmm. I wonder how accurate this nav mesh is. Nav mesh? Nav mesh? This nav mesh is to live. Wonder whether or not that was audible. I guess I could test whether I was audible. Yeah, this seems vaguely audible. At least it looks like it is. I can't. I never know if uh, my thing is going to just uh, if noise suppression is just going to completely edit out my whistling. It should be understandable if it did, but. So slightly hurtful. Oh, right, well, that wasn't the plan, but do I try and ad lib with this? I think that works.
Don't want to know how many healing things it takes on average to beat a single spiderling at the moment. That was kind of close. a little bit nerve-wracking specifically the fact that it I knew it was on three health but it knocks me off the first of my triplets and so I made the vaguely risky decision uh, like in theory it shouldn't have been risky but you know stuff can always go wrong uh, to stay and do one more hit just trusting that I would smash it in that final hit that could have gone wrong in theory but hey we're back here again Check that progress. Fairly certain one Stromling mech just took a bullet for me. Oh, I did miss, miss time to get the jump off the projectile. Oh, and I'm not paying enough attention to which route it is. No. Realized that like a second before I, before that bullet hit me. It's like wait a second. This isn't around, so I can just all in. That's good. That was another mech which would de-aggro from back over here. Cool. Too close to that spider limb. Seems not though. Like, I knew I shouldn't be too close because normally this is a safe distance, but I just felt like I was quite close. Alright, let's go. That was dumb. It's not a good start. Terrible start. It's <laughs> awful. Anyway, uh, let's just double check. Not incredibly quickly, but I'm not going slowly either. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, and then just say, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to draw you, and I will see you around. Bye.